Hi everybody, welcome to these neck and shoulder yoga stretches for desk workers. This video is beneficial for anybody who spends a lot of the day sitting or in general anybody who spends a fair amount of time on their electronic devices, be it the computer or the phone or just in general if you experience any kind of upper back discomfort, stiffness in the shoulders, in the neck, even in the jaw, this class will be really helpful for you. You don't need any previous experience. The only thing you need is a yoga mat. You don't need any further props. And we can get started right away. Just a moment, let me introduce myself. My name is Yeni. If you're new to my channel, I'm a yoga and meditation teacher. I have loads of different videos for you. I already made a neck and shoulder video a while ago and I got so much positive feedback. People felt so relieved that they asked me to do another one. And so here we are. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel to see all these beneficial videos to keep practicing. And then when you're ready, put on something comfy and meet me on your mat. We begin our class sitting on our heels today. Now, if this is very uncomfortable for you, you could also sit cross-legged or sit on a cushion. If this works out for you, I can recommend to even start the class sitting on your heels with the toes tucked under because this gives the back of our feet a nice little stretch. But again, if that's very uncomfortable, you can skip that part and just make sure you're sitting upright with a long spine. We're starting easy today with the wrists. We interlace the fingers and start to kind of paint the figure eight into the air or this kind of infinity sign. And we're doing this because everything is connected. If you have stiffness in the shoulders or in the neck, then you cannot separate this from your arms, from your spine and all the way down to the wrist. So let's just get started with relieving our wrists and our hands, especially if we type a lot, we circle the other way around. Very good. And then we stick out our arms in front of us and we flex the left hand. So we bring the fingers towards us and gently with the right hand, we help to stretch the wrist and the fingers open. Don't pull super hard. Just give a nice little stretch to the back of your wrist or the front of your wrist rather, and just pull it to you gently. Make sure you're not taking any tension in the shoulder, but relieve it down. Keep the neck and the face relaxed and just take a couple of breaths. Make sure you take all the fingers in. And then we switch it around. We point the left fingers down to the ground, help a little with the right hand to pull the back of the left hand towards us to open the wrist here, the forearm. Again, release the shoulders down, release the neck maybe. Make some relieving movements in your jaw just for yourself to make sure you're not holding any tension there. And then we're changing the side. So right fingertips up to the sky, left hand helps us gently to pull them in. <clears throat> the wrist is in one line with the shoulder, so drop it down gently and don't strain here. We just wanna open up some space. Make sure you pull all the fingers in. When you have time, another time, you can take each finger individually, especially if you tend to type a lot, it's very soothing. But today we're just gonna do the whole hand at once and we're changing it around. Fingertips point down, pull the back of the hand towards you gently to open up the forearm and the wrist. The rest of the body stays relaxed. Feel free to close the eyes in between or rest your eyes on one focus point. Whenever you're in the pose and you don't need to check the screen, feel free to rather check in with how this pose feels to you, how your body feels. And allow for some deeper breaths. Good, we release. You can shake out your hands for a moment. If you still have the toes tucked, you can release them now. We're coming onto all fours. We place the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. We want to further release the forearms and the wrists. So you place your right arm down in front of you. That is a bit of a tricky pose, but actually just when you do it the first time. Give yourself a little bit more space with the left hand and walk your knees in until you can place the right knee onto your forearm. Now see how that works for you. I have to come a bit closer. And what I want to do is I want to apply gentle pressure with my right knee onto my forearm and I will move it back and forth, massaging my own forearm and you will see my fingers automatically start to curl when I put a little bit of pressure on that forearm. It's a really nice release for all the fascia. We're doing this for a couple of times and 
there can be some intensity there, but you don't want to feel any pain. Don't put all your body weight onto her. You can support yourself also with the flat left hand. Just massage your own forearm a couple of times. And again, you can do this anytime to relieve your hands when typing a lot and you can go for this a lot longer also. And then we're changing the sides, right knee back onto the ground, right hand supports us, left forearm comes down, either stay on the flat hand or give yourself some more space. It's not so important how this pose looks, you want to be able to reach your forearm with your left knee and then again we massage back and forth, experiment a little bit with the pressure that is good for you today so you can feel some release like you would enjoy a massage and move up and down that forearm. I'm also gonna show it from the front and never mind if it's kind of hard for you to reach, just adjust the pose accordingly. Good. Stay another little moment here. Good. And now we release the wrists a little bit, the hands, the forearms, we'll move further up into the shoulders. So come back onto all fours and one more time, sit back on your heels, grab a hold of your knees and then send your heart up towards the sky, pull the shoulders back and down. We're creating a gentle curve in the back, lift your chin slightly. And then we roll the table down and round the back. Really push the shoulder blades apart. You can grab a hold on the knees, chin into the chest. And we do this a couple of times together with the breath, if that feels good, inhaling, lifting the heart, curving the back, shoulders back and down. And exhaling, round. And you can do this in your own rhythm of breath. You wanna make sure you take the whole spine along, so the pelvis and the neck. So we're warming up the spine and getting used to this movement. And again, no strain if this movement has to be a bit smaller for you today, that's fine. We're just mobilizing the spine, the pelvis, the neck a little bit. Good. And then take your hands together in front of the heart center when you sit up and point the fingertips towards the chest. We interlace the fingers and we keep going with this movement. So we inhale and we really stretch up now. And then we exhale and we round the back. So we take the navel in, the tailbone down, the chin into the chest and we push the shoulder blades apart. We do this a couple of times. Inhale, really roll it up. Open up the chest and exhale round good now try and do this very fluidly together with your breath and don't strain again if you feel very stiff today just let those movements become a little bit smaller good again roll yourself up with the inhale and exhale around the back. Now we'll come again up in the inhale, but this time we'll try and lengthen our back. So once I curve my back, I bring the table down and the navel in and I really lengthen through the spine and I push the palms up to the sky even more and I try and pull the upper arms slightly behind my ears. This can be a little bit exhausting in your shoulders, that's fine. We'll try and stay for a moment. Release the neck, the jaw, the face. Take another deep inhale, broaden the chest. Good, and then release the arms over the side, interlace all 10 fingers behind the back, pull the shoulder blades together, draw them back and down. And now, usually we tend to curve the back again, so just check in one more time, lengthen out that lower back, Release the shoulders down, neck is relaxed. We want to breathe into that upper body, so in the chest and the ribs, and we take a couple of deep breaths. Good, two more. Feel free to close the eyes, rest the gaze, fully focus on your in and exhalation. Good, and then release, bring the fingertips onto the ground or onto your thighs and roll the shoulders a couple of times. We'll move a bit further into that upper back. We bring the hands back onto the mat and to our quadruped, so knees under the hips, the knees hip distance apart. 
and we start walking the hands forward. Come onto your fingertips, open the hands a bit wider, maybe all the way to the edges of the mat and drop your chest down towards the ground. Now see how far you can go. Maybe you can even come all the way down onto your chin or onto your forehead. See what works better for your neck. And if it's a bit of a pinching sensation in your shoulders, then open the hands wider, but make sure you're not pushing the hips back or forward, but keep the thighs perpendicular to the floor and then close your eyes and breathe. So we want to allow the chest to really melt down to the ground so the armpits can open, the shoulders can open. And you focus on those long releasing breaths, allow the exhale to become a bit longer, allow the chest to melt down to open up. Good. Let's take another deep breath here. And then slowly walk the hand, hands in just slightly, maybe about one length of the hand. Place the hand, left hand down firmly. Now we thread the right arm underneath the left arm, twist the upper body over to the left side and lay down on that right shoulder blade and the right temple of our head. This should be comfortable. Make sure you place your head in a way that your neck doesn't carry any weight. And your hips are still over your knees. So we have a nice gentle twist in the upper back and we can breathe into there. So now maybe you want to come back onto the left fingertips, walk the hand even further front and breathe into the side body. Closing the eyes, resting the gaze, fully arrive back into your body, connecting with the breath. And without any strain, just observe what the breath does for you in this pose. Good, we stay for another deep breath here. Feeling the upper back opening, the back side of our chest. And then we press the left hand down into the ground, pull the right arm out, bring it forward and change the side. We thread the left arm underneath the right arm, twist the chest towards the right side, lay down on the left shoulder blade, on the left temple, the hips are still up, and you can keep the right hand down or you come into the fingertips and walk it forward to open the right side body as well. And then focus on your breathing. Focus on any sensations in the body, whether you feel a gentle stretch or an opening or whatever kind of stimulation you notice. Send your breath into these areas. Send your attention into these areas. And see how they change with your attention. Good. We take another deep breath here. And then we place the right hand back down firmly, press into the hand, bring the left arm forward. And now we keep the hands forward, spread out the fingers. We tuck the toes under and we send the hips back. Make sure you the insides of your elbows are kind of looking towards each other and forward. Keep it that way. And then extend your legs up for a downward facing dog. You can keep the knees bent. We press the belly towards the thighs. And you can take a couple of steps here on the spot. So you push the heels alternately down to the ground to release the back of your legs and your knees. But you really want to soften the neck here. So bend the knees generously, belly towards the thighs, hips up, lift up through the shoulders, really press away from the ground and then softly shake your head, yes. No rigid movement, just to make sure you have let go of any tension, shake it no, or any other way that feels good. Releasing the neck. The shoulders have to work here a little bit. We're bringing some energy into these areas. So lift up through the shoulders. Let's take another deep breath here. Good, and then walk the feet towards the hands. 
and you can bend the knees as much as necessary for that. Keep the knees soft. Let the upper body just dangle in a forward fold. Now for the beginning, grab a hold of the opposite elbows and make sure you really let go in the upper body. So take the navel in, allow the lower back to lengthen, allow the spine to lengthen and allow the neck to relax again. You could grab the opposite elbows here like I'm doing it just to make sure I have this little extra weight pulling the shoulders forward but if you're further up that's completely fine don't put any pressure don't push just release and release the neck maybe softly do some movements like you just did in your down dog if that felt good and there's the option here to either stay or interlace your fingers behind your head in your neck and softly allow that extra weight of your hands and of your arms to pull your neck gently, but don't pull it with force. Don't try to create anything. Just enjoy that heaviness of the hands and of the arms and see if you can find some release. Don't try and strain. Don't pull in any way. And again, if the back of your legs is very tight, just bend the knees more as much as necessary. If you're very flexible, you can rather straighten them. Let's take three deep breaths here. Really allow these breaths to support you in your tension release. One last E breath. And then release the hands down to the ground, bend the knees, walk back into your downward facing dog, pedal the legs for a little moment, and then bring the knees down and from here lay all the way down onto your belly. We're coming into a sphinx pose, opening up the upper body. So we place the feet down onto the ground. We lift up like wood for a small cobra. And then we bring the elbows where the hands just were. So directly underneath the shoulders, our forearms are parallel to each other. And the arms are kind of in a right angle. If this is too much for you, for your lower back, you can bring the elbows for the front and open the legs wider. If you're okay, arms in a right angle, tops of the feet pressed down, feet hip distance apart. Now, I want you to pretend like you want to pull the mat with your hands towards you. You're not actually doing that, I'm just showing you the activity. So you can really feel how you're pressing the chest forward, kind of past your upper arms and really engage that upper back, engage the muscles along the spines, pull the shoulders back and down and open that chest. Maybe you can feel even a little stretch in your chest or in your upper belly around this area of your stomach. Press the pubic bone down into the ground. This gives nice length to your lower back and then keep breathing, but keep this pose active. We'll do this pose twice. Now in the first round, really try and Keep it nice and active, feeling those muscles on the back activate. Good, we stay for two more. One last one. And then we soften kind of into this pose. You can open the legs a little bit wider, release the shoulders and now gently and slowly drop your head forward. So we'll stay in a variation of this pose that is a little bit more passive. You can just drop the head forward, you can allow the back to relax a little bit more supported by your arms and either you stay this way or just maybe you want to make small movements with your head you can do this very intuitively you will feel those areas where the tension comes up and if it does then notice if it feels better to stay at one point for a little bit and breathe into it or if you rather keep this movement or if you just drop the head down feel free to close the eyes kind of withdraw from the screen for a moment just Notice what would feel good for you now, any kind of intuitive movements, as long as you're doing them slowly and consciously, they're good for you. Good job. Let's stay in the second variation for two more breaths. And then release by bringing the hands on top of each other taking the elbows out to the sides and the forehead down onto the back of your hands just take a deep breath good 
we'll stay on the belly, we extend the arms to the sides, we're in one line with our shoulders, so kind of a T-shape, and then we bend the right hand and place the right hand underneath the right shoulder. We bend the right leg, now we want to roll over onto that left extended arm, the hips can come off the ground, and I place the right foot behind me, like on the balls and on the toes, and I place the head on my left temple. I will also show the other side. You stay just in case you didn't see it fully. So we place one hand under the shoulder, bend the same leg and roll onto the extended arm. What happens is we can open the shoulder. We can have a nice little twist in the lower back. And then once you found your position and you feel good there, feel free to either keep the right hand on the ground or maybe wrap that right hand around your lower back. So back of the right hand onto your right, onto your lower back. So you can also open that upper shoulder. This is just an option. If you're very flexible, you may want to move the left hand further up. You want to feel a nice little stretch in the front of your left shoulder. Let's stay and breathe. Last one here. And then unwrap that upper arm, place it back down on the shoulder so you can come back to the center in a controlled way. We extend the right arm out or the second arm, depending on which side you've done. Left hand underneath the left shoulder, we bend the left leg, we roll over onto the straight arm and lay the head down again in a way that is comfortable for the neck and for the head. And then the left hand can stay on the ground or maybe you wanna wrap it around one more time, whatever feels good for you to open up your shoulders, feel free to close the eyes and breathe. Again, whenever you find yourself distracted, just bring your attention back to the sensations in the body and keep breathing. Last deep breath here. Good. Unwrap your upper arm if you've put it around your lower back. Come back to the center. Now tuck your toes under and then press your hands underneath the shoulders into the ground. Come onto the knees, place the toes down, point them and come into a child's pose for a moment. Forehead down to the ground, take the arms alongside the body. So now your shoulders can flow down and relax and you can either stay or you roll your forehead on the ground from left to right a couple of times to release the neck and to kind of massage the front of your brain here, bringing some calmness, some clarity. Good. And then place the fingertips down underneath the shoulders, slowly roll your way up into sitting. This time sit next to your heels, swing the legs around so you can sit comfortably in a cross-legged position. We'll move a bit further up into the neck. Let's take the arms up over the side, really stretch up to the sky. And one more time, take the arms behind the body, interlace all 10 fingers, one finger further than you did in the first round, in the beginning of the practice. Pull the shoulders back and down, and then take both hands onto the right side, so into your right wrist, take the elbows together, the shoulder blades together, back and down. Good. Now drop your left ear towards your left shoulder, so away from your arms, and just let it hang there. No need to press or to push. Just leave it there for a moment. Good. Take a couple of breaths here. The, the gaze gently rested down. Maybe you want to pull the right shoulder down a little bit more, then you will feel the difference maybe in your stretch. Remember, no strain. We're here to relieve tension, not to add any. And then lift the head first, pull the hands back, change the sides, both fists onto the left side, pull the shoulders back and down, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Good. And again, no strain, no pushing, rather just drop the head and maybe pull the opposite shoulder down, the left one. Breathe into that stimulation. Allow for some time for, so this pose can unfold its effect. And then bring the head up first and then 
Release the hands, roll the shoulders, take the hands onto the shoulders, the fingertips. Draw big circles in the air with your elbows. Further loosening up those joints. We'll go into the neck in a moment again. Roll the shoulders a couple of times in one direction and then change the direction until you can feel some warmth in those joints. Good, and then release down. One more time, bring the fingertips down and let the head drop over to the, right, to the left side. So left ear to the left side. And you really pull this right shoulder down. Now this time, take your left hand, grab a hold of your head very gently. Again, don't pull, just help to lengthen. And you can either keep the right hand on the ground or you can walk it further front or you can even release it off the ground and send it forward. You can experiment a little bit. This might move the sensation of lengthening further into your arm or into your shoulder. See where that sweet spot is for you today. Play around a little bit with that arm. And if you feel very, very stiff, then just rather release it. But then once you've found your sweet spot, stay there and breathe into it. Maybe close the eyes. Good, we stay for two more deep breaths. And then we stay on the same side, but we drop the chin towards the clavicular bone. So kind of you want it to look down to the ground or to your left knee. And we keep the hand, just move it a bit further to the back of the head, pull the head gently forward. So now you're still in the right side of your neck, but maybe a bit further back. And maybe you can feel this behind your shoulder blade. Again, see if you need to adjust the position of your right hand and breathe. Try and stay soft in your jaw, in your face, and in your thoughts. Like try and stay neutral, even if this causes some tension to rise up. See if you need to go back a little bit. Find some softness and breathe. Last breath here. And then release that left hand and help yourself to bring the head back up. I know you can do it without the hand, but this is just a softer way to come out of this intense stretch. We bring the left hand down to the ground, drop the head over to the right side, arrive first, and then take the right hand to the help, but again, gently lengthen. Drop the left shoulder, see if you need to adjust the position of your hand, see if you wanna pull it away and adjust according to your condition today. You know, today might be very different than tomorrow or yesterday or the last time you did this video or the next time you will do it. Just find that spot that needs your attention today and breathe into it. Good. From here, we'll stay on the same side. We drop the chin down towards the chest, kind of towards the armpit, and we grab a hold of the back of the head. Softly pull it forward, kind of as if you wanted to look to the ground or to your right knee, and we lengthen the back left side of our neck, and again, see if you need to adjust your left hand. Remember not to bring the shoulder up, but rather bring it down, and if this is all too much, just release the hand and stay in a gentler version. Good. Let's stay for two more breaths here. And then again, use that hand to help yourself come up in a soft way. Now for a moment, I want you to imagine your head is swimming on the surface of water. You can place your hands on your knees or wherever they land and close your eyes. I know you might feel a bit silly doing this, but just really circle the head in a very natural way. And imagine it's swimming on the surface of water. So it's very soft movements in all directions, circling, pivoting, moving from side to side. But it's very soft. Don't go to the extremes. Don't go to the extent of your capacity here. Just soft and soft. And keep the eyes closed. Do the same to your jaw. Really do some nice big movements with your jaw. Open the mouth, pull out the tongue. Good. And then rub your hands on top of each other, create some warmth. 
And then once you can feel the warmth in your palms, place the hands onto your cheeks and give it a nice little press, but don't be too hard. Just allow those muscles that you need for chewing to relax, to absorb that warmth of your hands. Good, and then use the index and the middle finger to massage those muscles that move your jaw, that help you to chew, but that often hold a lot of tension. And then maybe move up onto the bones, the cheekbones, maybe your temples. And now that you're here, feel free to close the eyes and let your hands just move where your body asks for attention. Maybe you need a bit more attention in your jaw area, maybe rather the temples, maybe even your scalp. You can even maybe massage the ears. This is kind of waking you up. So if you have to go back to work, this is a nice way to spark your concentration, but it's also a good way to get your circulation going. So see what you need now. And then move down your neck the sides of your throat. Very good, do this a couple of times. Maybe the back, you can rub it or you can press. But don't do anything straining, but see this as energy, warming energy that allows you to release a little bit more. Massage your neck, squeeze it a couple of times. Very good, and then roll the shoulders a couple of more times in one direction and then in the other. And then shake your hands up one more time. Take a deep breath, pull the shoulders up to the ears. Hold the breath and then open the mouth and let it go. <sighs> Very good. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you feel some release. Take a moment to sit calmly in meditation if you have the time or repeat the video if it felt soothing or make sure to come back and do it again. I also have another lovely video for neck and shoulders and loads of other practices. So please hop onto my channel, check it out, subscribe. And I would love to see you leaving me a comment. Let me know how you felt about this video. Maybe give me a thumbs up. That would be great support. And then I hope to see you in the next video.